Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Welcome to Minutes to Paradise. Ghusl is a significant purification ritual in Islam, involving a thorough cleansing of the entire body. It is performed by Muslims for various purposes, including preparation for specific acts of worship and restoration of purity after specific impure situations. Ghusl is obligatory in Islam when one experiences major ritual impurity, janaba, or after specific events like sexual intercourse, ejaculation, menstruation, postpartum bleeding, or the death of a Muslim. The steps for performing ghusl typically include intention, niyya. Begin with the intention of purifying oneself for the sake of Allah. Hand washing. Start by thoroughly washing the hands to ensure cleanliness. Mouth rinsing. Swish water in the mouth and expel it, repeating this three times. Nose rinsing. Inhale water into the nostrils and then expel it, repeating this three times. Face washing. Wash the face three times from the hairline to the chin and from ear to ear. Arm washing. Wash both arms, starting with the right and then the left, up to the elbows three times. Head wiping. Wet the hands and wipe them over the head, starting from the forehead and moving towards the back of the head. Foot washing, wash the feet up to the ankles, starting with the right foot and then the left three times. Maintain sequence, ensure the sequence of washing as outlined. Remove impurities. During the process, remove any physical impurities from the body. Intent for major impurity. If performing gusul due to major impurity, janaba, ensure water reaches every part of the body. Ghusl is a crucial aspect of Islamic hygiene and worship. It ensures that a Muslim is physically and ritually pure when engaging in acts of worship such as prayer or reading the Quran. Additionally, it is performed after specific life events and conditions to regain a state of purity in accordance with Islamic teachings. Variations in the specific method and practices of Ghusl may exist among different Islamic traditions and schools of thought.